Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a quick introduction to the first ever Knit Tea Retreat vlog. It's Friday the 19th, um, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon and I've just made myself all fancy and in about half an hour mum and I will be heading into Cardiff. We're going to the Innkeeper's Lodge to have like a pre-retreat meet up with some people that have arrived in the city already. Um, I think quite a few people started drinking gin on the 12.15 from Paddington so um, yeah I anticipate a few sore heads tomorrow morning. In case you were wondering what one's house looks like just before you host a retreat <laughs> and you hear my mum sniggering in the background I'll, I'll show you a bit and you may or may not be able to spot my mother over the piles of stuff um, yeah <laughs> because Jenny of Owl About Yarn, obviously, is bringing all of her show goods as well for the marketplace. I've ended up with most of the retreat gubbins and, um, yeah, yeah, my house is pretty insane. So I'll flip the camera around now and, around now and you can have a look. Okay, so I'll do some proper shots later and excuse my terribly untidy house. But these are some beautiful teapot centerpieces that my mum has made beautiful tissue paper flowers and then if I swing round there's my mum say hello mum hello she's very kindly taking the tie boxing kit off the radiator <laughs> so I've got my bag for tonight with my knitting in it this is teapots for actually making tea in and I've got coffee pots and the first of two kettles a proper double clanger coffee maker, bags of cutlery, oh look at that, 480 Yorkshire tea bags, I think that should do us. There's plates, there's all my donations for the bring and swap table, that's goodie bags and cleaning stuff and a first aid kit if anyone feels the need to have a medical emergency, please don't. There's Jim the dog on his beanie bag, hey Jim. You've just been for a walk. Yeah. Set of steps. More stuff. What's in there? Bunting and water jugs and another kettle. Look, these are my clipboards. I've made two clipboards, one for me and one for Jenny, and everything is on there. Bags of mugs and oh, tea urn down the bottom. And there's even more in the back room. So, yeah. Oh, it's ever so sunny. So the weather's going to be lovely. So I will try and take some footage tonight at the pub and uh, throughout the rest of the weekend as well. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to do because obviously I need to concentrate on all of our lovely guests. But I will hopefully take you with me, see if I can chat to some of the attendees. And um, if I manage the time, I will try and leave links to the vendors and things like that down below. But if you're unsure of any of the details of those, you can check the Knit Tea Retreat website, which is www.thenittearetreat.com. And there's a vendors marketplace thread on there.
it's nearly 11 o'clock. I really meant to do a bit more filming at the pub, but I was having too much fun. And I meant to get some recording of Jenny because Jenny was there on fabulous form, of course. And I was too busy chatting to all the wonderful knitters. We had a fantastic time. I think 48 out of 50 retreat attendees came. I think we scared all the muggles in the Beverly Hotel with our knitting and we really put the kitchen to the test. <laughs> there was a constant stream of curly fries and chicken curry and all sorts. So it was a really fantastic evening, the absolute best way I could think of to start off the first ever knit tea retreat. Um, lovely to see friends meeting other friends they haven't seen for a while and new people making new friends and familiar faces and people I've only ever met in my phone before. So it was a fantastic evening and um, I'm very tired now. <laughs> We've got to get to the venue pretty early tomorrow, half past seven. I've got to be there, which means getting up at about quarter past six, six o'clock in the morning. So I'm clean and washed and tucked up in bed, ready for a snooze. And I will really try my best to record a bit more footage. But thank you so much to everybody that came tonight. Um, I couldn't think of a better way to start things off. I'll see you tomorrow. I know the video quality is terrible. But that's because I'm sat in the boot of my car. It is quarter to seven in the morning and I've been up since half past five. And look at all the stuff. It's Saturday morning, by the way. I forgot to say that. So we're all packed in two cars. My children are up and ready. Dave and my mum are also up and ready. And I think I need to check my list one last time. And then we can head off for the Knit Tea Retreat. <gasps> And also, I'll show you again later when there's some daylight, but I'm wearing my York pinnacle. <laughs> so there's Rob. More unloading. Off he goes. Morning, Jenny. Hi. I'm so excited. I know. I completely forgot to record any video with you last night. I know. So, so I was in bed going... I really must try and record something with Jenny, and I, I said it on the earlier bit. So excited! So excited! Just bounced out of bed this morning. Amazing. Tons of fun. We had such a good time last night, though, didn't we? It was, it was a so hoot. Lovely meeting everybody. Did you genuinely bounce out of bed? Because you don't usually bounce out of bed. I almost bounced out of bed. <laughs> Mentally, I bounced out of bed. As close as you'd ever get yeah. to bouncing out of bed. Yeah. Excellent. Right. I bought my lot. Look. There's more cake unloading. It's very early. We saw the dawn, it was pink and stripy. Say morning, comrade. With cake. With cake. Oh my goodness, did it all nearly fall out? No. Nope. Is, is it all fine? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's my stuff for the bring and take table. <laughs> this is how much stuff it takes to run a retreat. Here we are. In Insole Court, the sun is up now, and we are all super busy getting ourselves set up. I'll take you inside, and you can see, you can see the before. <gasps> There's lovely Rob on grid wall duty. Dave moving the audio-visual equipment. Jocelyn's putting some last bits and pieces in the goodie bags. Building shelves. We're going to put bunting up all along this big ball. Sorry? Cellar tape? Yes, we do. So this is the kitchen team. All the essentials. Not enough plug sockets. Not enough plug sockets. We bought Not extension much. cables. Oh, we've got bins though. Okay, so now I need to stop filming and actually start doing something useful. I had 
to take a moment to film the gloriousness that is the bring and take table. So we said to everyone, if you've got any odd bits and bobs that you don't want anymore, bring them along and we'll swap. And some of the stuff is just amazing. There's easy knits. Truly hooked. There's hand dyed by Kate. There's some knit picks. What else did we find? Volmeiser. There is Volmeiser in here. I saw a skein yeah. of it. And there's hedgehog. There's hedgehog fibres. Oh, look, there's some cracking sock yarn. Berger de France Gumi is marvellous. We've got West Yorkshire spinners. We've just got loads of beautiful stuff and fat quarters and hand dyed and curtain rufflet tape and all of these boxes of books and patterns. Everyone's done really well having a good clear out. And Jenny's sorting out beverages. I'm sorting out my beverages. How's it going? It's going really well. I'm enjoying my beverage. Sorry, I just realised I had my hand over the microphone. And, um, yep, we haven't run out of cake yet. Not yet. We haven't even, I think we've only just started today's other allocation of cake. Yeah, I think we're going to be all right. And the biscuits are surprisingly still there. I know. Oh, and I wanted to show you oh, they're beautiful. these beautiful tissue paper arrangements. My mother made these. She found a YouTube tutorial and scoured charity shops for jugs and teapots and then popped in a pair of her old metal streets. And you can see that there's some on every table, all the way down the room. And we are absolutely roasting. It is gorgeously sunny and hot. It must be about 16 degrees. I'm mean, sat in the sunshine in these windows. Look, there's a couple of stray knitters down the end. I'm not entirely sure they're on the retreat. I'm just too, you know, I'm too nice to throw them out. And doesn't the bunting look fabulous? Jenny actually gave herself a bunting-related injury, sewing all the bunting. Yeah. But it's really good. It was worth it. It was totally worth it. Yeah. And look, there's the double clanger coffee pot. There's the tea urn that my father very kindly pat-tested and stuck warning labels on. <laughs> so yeah. So everyone's in their workshop at the moment, their second afternoon workshop. And when we come back, it will be ordering takeaways and sorting out the raffle for the bring and take table. And then shenanigans. Dinner time, knit tea retreat. Pizza seems like it was the best call. Oh, look, there's lovely Maria. She's mine and All About Yarns tech editor. So we have lots of love for Maria. We have lovely Ange, Yarn and Yarns. We have Cas 63 Where's the mouse? Oh on their adventures. We have Emma of Eldama Craft. We have Jeanette, Hi. international knitting woman of mystery. <laughs> Waylin and Andrea as well. Andrea used to come to my knitting group when we all went to knitting and then she moved. Rude. We've got chips and biscuits and I think we're still waiting on Chinese. But everyone seems to have had a lovely time and any minute now when we've eaten, we're going to sort out the bring and take table raffle. Everyone seems very keen on this. <clears throat> and in case you were wondering if this is a full service knitting retreat or not, where did you make Rob go? Tesco. What for? Ice. Why did we need ice? Because somebody requested ice for their drinks this evening. Look. This is an outrageous state of affairs. There's nothing to do with us. We've got a larder fridge for milk and it's full of gin. Nothing to do with us. We can't control them. No, actually our Let gin go. is in there. We've got tins. Because that's how you know you're keeping it classy. <laughs> so here we've got some nice evening entertainment. There's my mum, bless her, still working hard. I'll get the gin in a minute. But everyone seems to be having a lovely time. And we've even got the French doors open because it's still so gorgeous and warm. Look at all these marvellous people. Okay, this is the bring and take table frenzy. <laughs> There's ticketed knitters. Charging at the table. It's like, it's like chum for knitters. 
What do you think, ladies? Is it a decent selection? Yes! Oh, you've got some pink. Wow, I'm not really a pink girl. But you, can, pink. you can wear anything on your feet, though. It's socks. Yay! Oh, it's gone. It's gone. There's some lovely stuff. Hi, guys. It's Saturday night. It's about half past ten. And I'm here with Jim the dog. And I meant to do a sign-off recording clip with Jenny before I left in Soul Court, but we just completely ran out of time. I've taken a bit of footage of the um, the dinner. We all ordered takeaway. There was pizza and Chinese and everyone was drinking gin out of the nitty retreat mugs that we gave everyone in the goodie bags. And we did a quiz. We did a quiz, Jim. You don't care about my quiz, do you? There was a quiz and some raffle prizes and I definitely took some footage of the bring and take table and I just couldn't get over how generous everybody was and what lovely things there were to share around. And then everybody wandered off home and I think everyone had a nice day and Jenny and I and Rob and my mum tidied up and rearranged all the tables ready for the marketplace tomorrow. So I have washed my face. I keep forgetting to record the last bit of the vlog before <laughs> before I wash all my makeup off, but this is real life. And we're back tomorrow morning for half past eight, so it's not quite such an early start. Isn't that right, Jim? Mm, did you miss me? I don't think Jim missed me at all. Okay, I'm going to go to bed because tomorrow is the second day. And we've got members of the public coming for the marketplace and 50 retreat people to organise. So I think I need some sleep. I will check in in the morning, hopefully in daylight hours. <laughs> morning, really sunny. People have turned up super early, which is lovely because they're helping. And I'm stashing suitcases and trying to get the marketplace set up. So I'll show you how far we've got now, but it's very chaotic. This is where we're at. We're rearranging tables. We've got yarn and yarns, and Emma Belden McCraft, and Beaker Button setting up. We got Suzanne with her marvelous hair. Say hello, Maria. And my mum, bless her, is doing sterling tea and coffee duty. But I've got to stop podcasting now and get on with it, or someone's going to shout at me. Sunday. Morning. I really wish you'd tell me when you're going to start filming. I like the element of surprise. Oh my god. This is real life, people. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> this is my tea. So how are you doing this morning? I am good. I'm fizzing. Yeah. I've stopped crying now. Yeah, so. that's good. But oh I reserve, my god. I reserve the right to change my mind later. I had to tell her to pull herself together. I haven't checked my eyeliner. Well, yeah, I know what I'm like. If you're nice to me on top, there's just no end. Well, then I'm just going to have to be harsh, aren't I? Come on, Carter. Pull yourself together. Anyway, we got everybody in and out again. <laughs> it's basically the hokey cokey this morning, I yeah. think. And we've got two workshops running this morning. We've got... Three. Have oh, we got all three? Goodness. Lot Jen, Anakin and Many. Renee. Oh, I'd forgotten about lovely Anakin. You fool. How rude. <laughs> so, yes, lots of people doing... Buttons and um, Shetland lace and brioche. Brioche. All the classes have been fabulous, but I think people have been particularly exhausted by the brioche and the double knitting. <laughs> There's been more braining going on. Yeah, I think they found it, was, it quite um, intense. Nervous tension yesterday afternoon in the steaking. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, a lot of people came in saying. I was holding my scissors like this, and it was only a tiny piece of steaking. <laughs> and everybody was coming out of the double knitting, and they just made a small rectangle. <laughs> Very small. And they were all proudly showing off their tiny little rectangles, so that was quite fun. But they've got, um, she gave them a pattern each, didn't she? Really nice scarf. Like lovely scarf. I'm not mm. sure if that one's on Ravelry, or if she just keeps it for her retreat, her yeah. class pupils. But I'll see if I can find it. Um, and try and link it below if I have the time. So there's a small window of calm because we've got anyone that's not in a workshop is over in the gallery um, having a sit and a chat while we get the marketplace set up. 
a couple of people have done their stalls already. If I yeah, swizzle I'm just, around. I'm just dying up Debbie's yarn. That's where I got distracted. You can see my mum having a sneaky cup of tea. And there's um, Angie's stall. Yeah. And then Elder McCraft a bit further along. And if I come back round, try not to make you feel sick. <laughs> Sheepy Lane. So, yeah, there's a small... Oh, yes. Colourful creativity in the corner looking very busy. <laughs> <laughs> my arm's getting tired already. Aww. I've lost my selfie stick. I need a new selfie stick. I couldn't find mine. I was going to bring it for you. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. So we're having a quick cup of tea and a pastry because Jeanette kindly bought us carbohydrates. <laughs> and um, all the tea urns are full and the coffee pots are ready. Taken the lunch forms over, haven't we? Yeah, that's all sorted. So we're just tidying up and rearranging chairs for yeah. lunch time. Um, I have to put some poppers in some bags, which I've just remembered seeing Caroline working. So I'm I need gonna... to finish setting up the owl stand. Yeah, that too. That too. <laughs> and my family's on the way an hour earlier than expected. But thank you. It's fine. It's fine. Mine will probably be late. It'll balance out. Oh, there you are then. So yeah, it's all going really well. Marketplace, tidy up, and then onto the carvery tonight. Yes. Yeah. I'm not taking knitting. I'll take it. Well, I've only got my jumper and um, I don't have a, a very small thing. So I've got the second sleeve of my arboreal, which is knitted yeah. all together. And if only if you I could get... buy a ball of sock yarn from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> if I get gravy on, your on my arboreal, I'm going to cry. No, that's fair enough. No more crying. I've done enough of that for both of us today. Yeah, no more. None. Well, I think I feel I feel like I should check a list. I've told you, don't be nice to me because that makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't keep it up. I can't be nasty to you for long. Um, let me put you back into it. Okay, well, we'll finish our tea, attack the lists. And, and poppers. I'll, and poppers. And I'll try and film a bit more when everyone's set up, maybe, before yeah. the masses descend. So you guys can all have a good look at all the lovely vendors who all sell online as well. So I'll check down below for links to everyone's shops and things like that.
<laughs> oh, the lovely Greek world. Could you say something lovely on camera about the retreat? It was fabulous. Did you have a lovely time? Yes. Excellent. Definitely. What did you do? Um, swore a lot, drank gin, stabbed myself with needles. I was thinking more of the classes. Oh, right. Stabbed myself with needles was one of the classes. I did uh, needle felting and it was lovely, and brioche and it was lovely, and check and lace and it was lovely. Excellent. What about you? I did. Brioche and colour work, and they were both lovely. And I can brioche. I can you know brioche? Increase. Like a bro. Brilliant. The marketplace is over and everybody is packing up. Look, the yarn's going away. The retreat isn't quite all over because we're going to go and have a roast dinner later on. Poor old Jocelyn has served tea and coffee like a demon all afternoon. There's proof that Dave knows how to work a J cloth. Packing up the kitchen. But yeah, there's Jenny, look. Packing up the last bits of the yarn. The official end of the official end of the Knit Tea Retreat. We're all tidied up, mostly. Look, Dave took the bunting down. There's the last little bits. We're playing Jenga with our cars at the moment. Look. Lovely purple snowdrop stayed to help us, as long as it had handles. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Jocelyn having done her 400th trip back to the car. I'm really tired. She's knackered. I don't even know what happened to Max. He might be crying in a bush somewhere. Is he? And we've still got to fit all of this. Well, that's, that's Jenny's stuff. And there's our stuff. And that's my bag that I'm going to take to the pub in a minute. And we're going to go and... I don't know, stare into the middle distance. Yes, Dad's taking you lot home and Jenny and I are going to go and have one last dinner with our friends. You can't come to the pub. You're not a grown-up. So yes, I think Jenny deserves someone else to cook her supper. Oh, so do you. Yeah. So do we all. So do we all. Bye-bye in Soul Court.